Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash! This is Spiraling Helix, last time we made our way through a very deadly game show because I got a game over instantly. Yeah. This time, well we're gonna dive right into Ford Cobalt, but first of all, as you can see by my coin count, I did a little bit of shopping and delivered cards to the museum. Oh, I've shown them off right at the beginning of the video, so... I would have kept them up for a bit longer so you can see. Recommendations for this level, of course I will put on the things you should bring in. I recommend bringing iron jumps now that they are available, they always beat out the regular jumps. And spin jumps. Bring a lot of them, I'll get into that in a later point. Though. Now, before I dive in, one more thing. Here's just some funny things and some new things I realised in my shopping trip. I did I hadn't donated a worn out jump? What? Okay, back back to the level. Oh, what's this? Mario, you've donated no small number of cards. It's enabled us to procure more art for the gallery. Yes, I came out of a different door, don't worry about it. Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> okay. And with that, we are ready. Let's head into Fort Cobalt. And I, I gotta say, <laughs> that, that turnip. Oh man. Anyway, let's go. This fort, there's no mistaking that smell. The big blue paint star is here. The blue big paint star. Words, and we have a box and some interesting music going on in a fort. You know what? This reminds me a little bit about a game called Metal Gear Solid and a certain character called Snake. Yeah! How did you find me, Mario? I'm practically invisible in this in inconspicuous cardboard box. We received intel that the enemy is developing a secret weapon at Fort Cobalt. We decided to infiltrate the place ourselves, but we're in over our caps. Now that you're here, I'll leave the rest to you. Toad number 19 of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Since I've been separated from my captain, I'll report back to Port Prisma HQ until further notice. So we have the next rescue squad in this already, and that was number 19. Heads up! There's a lot of the blue guys, and... Great start! I'm pretty sure if it's a normal shy guy, yes, I can just hammer them to death. Anyway, as you can see, we have a new card here as well, the tail. We're gonna... We're going to be seeing a lot of tails. Heads up. Now, can I? No. Well, I can first strike you, but it doesn't kill. Anyway, I definitely want to fight these guys. Fort Cobalt is home to many different Shy Guys. And many different variants of these Shy Guys. As such, I do highly recommend killing them. Killing all of them. Now, for this, I'm going to use two spin jumps, as I was wrong in needing to predict spin jumps. Maybe I'll be corrected later on. I, an excellent might have killed this guy, actually. And there's the excellent. Anyway, lots of shy guys and sniffets and a huge bunch of variants. As the different colors count as different cards in terms of the museum, I highly recommend fighting all of them, or at least waiting until like after the big paint star to fight them all when it's easier to get their cards. That was close. As this is really, oh, okay, never mind. Stop the presence. Silver Shy Guy, a brand new enemy that isn't just a different color. These enemies are unique. In the fact that I can't really show off how unique they are. Hmm. Okay. Normal hammers and jumps are gonna do absolutely nothing to it. Instead, 
What you are going to want to do, actually I think I can show this off with the spin jump. Um, and then let's just, that's a bit of a waste, let's do it anyway. So, they have a metallic cover over the top of them. As you can see, they don't take any damage from anything. However, if you use a metal card like an iron jump or a spin jump, you can peel off that layer, leaving them vulnerable. Now, by killing an enemy with that, you get a lot of rewards and hammer scraps. These enemies are considered some of the best in terms of upgrading your hammer paint levels. It, don't worry, I'm not going to bother going all the way to 980 or whatever the maximum amount is because that's absurd. You don't need that much. Anyway, though, that's why I recommend the spin jumps. They're sort of one-time use cards that you're not going to really use too often. Listen up, men. We've received reports that the enemy has infiltrated our base. They'll be using covert tactics, so I want you to search this place from top to bottom, back to front. So yes sir, top to bottom, back to front. Interesting, and look at them go searching. Literally just that room. Anyway, sneaky little spots hiding that are colorless. And sneaky little shy guy. But yes, highly recommend spin jumps over um, others because you can get big iron jumps, they're a bit more powerful. Strong work, shy man. You found him. Now listen up. Mario may look tough on paper, but he's not that tough on paper. Stack up, soldiers. Go, go, go! So, yes, so, stacking up. I love the kazoo! Anyway, we have five Shino five stacks! Oh my goodness, that's so many! So, uh, that. Did I. I wasted the five attack. Dang it. This is a good reason. This. Literally, a five worn out jump, five stack. Like. It, no, just one. Worn out jump times five. Would have done it. Um, I guess a couple of these and you and that should take out all but the back um stack I did not think that through clearly Oh, <laughs> yeah, this fight sucks if you don't have good cards for it. Oh no. Good example of why the cards I pick aren't always the best recommendation. Just includes some cards I recommend highly. Oh man. No. You're so mean. This could stack up a lot of money. Just gotta say, I love this battle music though. The Shy Guys are cool! And I'm bad at blocking apparently. Okay, let's... Let's do better. Good thing I have two Buzzy Beetles. Um, then it's... Three stack... Three, so it's one, one, three left. Fire for flower and a nice flower. And then they're gone. I've been holding on to these blaze hammers for quite a while. Their effectiveness is probably running low at this point, what with their damage output. But I think I mentioned this before with them. The... The... Oh, uh, what? I thought... Uh, I can't count. Never mind, this should win it for me. Um, as I was saying, the... The uh, blaze hammer, that's what they're called. Man, my memory. They don't come in any variants. There's no large blaze hammers. There's no multi blaze hammers. That's probably just a red shy guy. I'll take it anyway. 
Even when they didn't stack up. Well, even when they stacked up, they didn't stack up. Retreat! I missed your first line. What's this? Guess he ran away without his tail between his legs. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Uh, sure. Yeah, Red Tiger, I already got that. But now we have four tails! And a really big spot to paint here. That's really hard to tell with the lighting. Keep your eyes peeled, man. Look top to bottom, back to front. We've got to find those nasty colourless spots. And oh my goodness, I don't need this many tails. I guess I should actually show off what they do. And you seriously did not find this rescue squad. Manda. My goodness. Let's give him a few pulls. He's still stuck in there. Knock it off! Can't you see I'm busy being all stealthy over here? Oh, uh, Mario? Sorry about that. Toad number two of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Since I've been said, yeah, yeah, I got it. We'll see the captain shortly. It won't take too long. I say shortly, it's not in, not in this episode. Uh, next time we're by poor Prisma and all that. I don't want to get the power. Don't want to get the power. Come. Ah, oh, yes. They're all pretty rubbish. I don't really recommend doing the doors anymore. However, the rainbow doors are still quite interesting. Give them a shot. If you like that sort of thing. Any, uh, uh, what are you doing just sitting here? I have the absolute worst luck. You see those three fence panels? I know one of them is the weak link. But no matter what I do, I never guess the right one. So help a guy out. You're a lucky guy. Show me what real luck is. Um, it's the right answer. Oh my goodness. Okay. I didn't expect that. Um, this is what happens if you're wrong. You take damage. Try not to take damage. Over here, there's a pipe we can't seem to reach. And... Okay. It was the right answer, but I don't think you're going to pull the same thing twi twice. So let's go with the option in the middle. Indecisive. Oh my goodness! This can't be happening! Okay, that's definitely a trap. That thing up there makes it totally obvious. Uh, yeah, let's avoid this one. But that said, we just went in the middle, so let's go with the only option left. And as you can see, if you're wrong, they shuffle it up. Now, how are you meant to do this? Also, this one's electricity. Thought I should show it off. Um, well, there's no easy way to tell, aside from paint, not that I needed to, because I got it right, painting it. Now, that said, I, well, I'm gonna give this last one a shot, because this last one's a bit different. I recommend hitting the one on the left. Especially... <laughs> That's never happened before. I've never got that right. Oh my goodness. Toad number 18. He's astonished by my luck. As am I. Never mind. Um, I painted the, all the right ones. So I may as well paint these other ones. Just to rub it in their face. That never happens! So I hit the wrong one on purpose. This last one's a trapdoor! Oh, hitting the one on the left means nothing. Um, well over here, big hammer, but it's not coloured in. And, we have ourselves an optional cutout! Sorry, what's hiding behind this panel? Well, let's see if they're any good, shall we? No, they are not. They are rubbish cards, and I really hope I'm not in a position where I pick them up by accident. Run, Mario. Oh, okay, cool. Those cards kind of suck, but is that a new enemy I see? Let's give them a shot, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, two of them are jumping, one of them is not, and they are called ninjas. I'm going to equip the tail so we can see what that does. And because I have so many of them. And then I'm going to pull out a hammer and a spin jump. Now the ninjas are very unique as... The, well, they're, they're ninjas. This is what the tail does. Yes, it is a defensive one. You turn into Tanuki Maru. 
Now the one on the ground seemed to dodge my hammer, wasting it, you suck. And the one jumping took damage. Now I can never get this right. Oh, by the way, the tail. If you take damage, it disappears. But it lets you spin to deflect things in front of you. So let's say a uh, Koopa was coming at you. It would, well, you could deflect it back and deal the punishment. Now I'm going to take a chance and one of those two cards are going to kill you. There's one in the front, it dodges hammers. So it's weak to jumps. This one out back, dodges hammers. So it's weak to jumps. Now, ninjas, I'm pretty sure they pick a hammer or a jump, and it's random, not based on the animation they're doing, as demonstrated with that last one. I've... Okay, I'll be honest, I don't get how the ninjas work. But be careful, because... They're tricky, as you will see here. These ones... Yeah! They disappear and reappear. In front of you. Not fun. That's a lot of ninjas. I guess I'm going to test something by using a line jump. Let's see if they're always weak to jump. Okay then, they're always weak to jump, but they dodge hammers. I guess that's just how ninjas work. I, I don't get them. I'm sorry. Anyway. The first fight I only showed off because they're new enemies. This one I'm only really showing off because, well, do I have any other jumps? Yes, I do. Let's use that one. Don't even need to paint it that much. This one is so hard to dodge that it may as well be a required fight. And with your chances being one in three of hitting the panel above, it may as well be a required fight, so I'm showing it off. And look at all that paint and coins and hammer scraps. And I want to hit every shy guy and uh, hope for their battle cards. No! Oh, that ninja's asleep. <laughs> He's so cute. That's my thumbnail right there. A sleeping ninja. Okay, so they only shuffle if you hit the wrong one. Speaking of hitting the wrong one. Uh, yeah, Huey, I know. You might want to get that checked out. Don't worry, Mario here is a doctor. But that lets us actually get this squeezy looking thing. Which is in fact... The Basin! An extremely heavy bathing aid. Dropping this on an enemy's head might just knock it out. This is not an optional thing, we will need it much later in the game. So worth getting, but feel free to use it in a, a battle because, well, it's is is good in battles, and we have ourselves a save point. However, I'm I'm not quite ready. Why did I pick up all those cards? Well, let's see what's in front of us. I think I saw a, tea, a teacup, a coffee cup, on the ground. Well, we got an interesting looking sniffer in front of us. We got some weird music playing to the left. And that's a black shy guy, which I don't want to fight because they suck. So, seems to be scattered multiple ways to go. And a cafe over here, what's this? Well, let's explore the cafe first of all. No enemies seem to be here, looks pretty peaceful. Don't forget to paint this railing, it's very hard to actually spot if you're not looking for it. And what a, what are you eating? Eating this thing, it's like smooching a dragon. Yowza! Man, that was spicy, but it was so worth it. That, uh, he's, he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's just disappeared off the face of the planet. Anyway, what do you have to say? This burger is on point. Yum, 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 yum. And are you gonna breathe fire? Breathe fire, dang it. I want to take damage. Um. Oh well, maybe, 
I don't know if you can take damage. Welcome to Prisma Cafe at Fort Cobbles. Our most popular dish is the maggot my burger. It's so hot, it'll put Dragodon hair on your chest. Do you want to buy the hearty louse, eh? The Prisma Truth Brits we both know of. The Magma Burger seems to be a delicacy around here. Let's buy that one. The Magma Burber, Burber, Burger is our most popular dish. Only 200 coins. You got Magma Burger. For a limited time, we're offering the Booyah Meal. It's the Magma Burger and a bonus item. You got Fishing Pole. Oh, uh, that was the last Booyah Meal we had in stock. Lucky you. Would you like something else? Well, we can buy more magma burgers, but no more fishing rods, unfortunately. But how about the special? Now, I don't quite have that many coins. In fact, I can't get anywhere near that because the game won't let me, as we've already seen. You, uh, sure you want the special? Yes, I am. Okay, just act natural and listen up. This cafe is a front. I'm a highly trained super spy who just happens to make the best darn latte this side of Red Pepper Volcano. I've got some intel about a card that might be effective against the new super weapon they're developing. Take these with you. They might come in handy. Wink. You got tail. And another one. And another one. I'm collecting new intel all the time, so check back with me if you're having trouble. Thanks for stopping by. Please come again. Uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> bit of a change of voice there, but I d don't know why I hit that. Well, let's open these lockers. Ah! Oh, Mario, the barista here hooked me up with some coffee for my stakeout. I think he might sympathize with our cause. Oh, by the way, the secret password is pretzel. No, wait, that's not right. It's seashell. No, that's not quite right either. Hmm. It was a pretty ordinary word, nothing special at all. Oh well. Toad number four of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Since I've been the, yeah, we, we got it. Secret password, hey? I don't know if that actually g goes, like means anything. That's just an old colorless painted card. There are still some shy guys up here that I might want to talk with. We're not playing hooky, we're just taking a break. Gotta keep that work-life balance. It's easy to get too relaxed and start talking about top secret work stuff. You gotta be careful though, you never know who's listening. Apparently magma burger burgers are meant to look just like red pepper volcano. Right, I don't want to keep talking to you. I didn't even eat one, I just sat across from him. Uh, I smushed him to... Obliteration. Anyway, though, it seems that we've got some interesting parts to this base, but a lot left to explore. And I reckon we've explored quite enough. We've got so many tails. I mean, I'm going to pop it up, up on screen one more time. Look at all the tails we have. Come on. Anyway, though, with that, guys... This has been Spiraling Helix. Next time we will find out about the super weapon and claim the big blue paint star. Yeah. Anyway, see you all next time, everybody. Bye-bye.